weapon? You make a fortune selling milkshakes. Just wait till I get used to these things. You're a dead man! Throw up into my mask, I'm sending you the dry cleaning bill. <laughs> I can't work. I'm not letting nut jobs like you take over my city. Nut job. What? I'm not the one calling my weapon the Shocker without a trace of irony. Yoink! Tug of war! This whole building down on you! I have to! That might not be a bad thing with all the nasty stuff they make here, but it's going to survive a nice one for the swing. So, yeah, don't hold your breath. Did I just give Spidey a perfect score! Okay, the judges are just in my head, but still. A shake for breakfast, a shake for lunch, and a sensible smack upside the head for dinner. So, you broke in here for a power-up? Absolutely. Guns won't do it anymore. Huh? Everybody wants an ace that the others don't have. The kind of fighter power that you can fight an army with. And I bet they don't care who gets caught in a crossfire. That's why they call them bad guys! Should I have served my time like a good little girl? Get out when I'm old and wrinkly? I don't think so. You're saying the Kingpin got you out of jail? How much power does this guy have? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Power. His, yours, and mine. The other guy feels when you hide in the shadows. I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. to all this trouble for little old me. You must really care. <laughs> this one time I fought somebody who was a real loser, and they were still better than you. Me to stand there. When you put forth this weak an effort, I kind of feel like you don't respect me. I wasn't in this, Felicia. Tell me what he did to you. I was transferred to Ravencroft. The Kingpin came to see me. Just to be clear, we're talking about Wilson Fisk. Yes. He said he knew I was after power and, and he could give it to me. You'd owe him. That's how it always works, isn't it? The doctors did experiments. They called it DNA crafting or crisscrossing. Cross-species genetics? You've seen what can happen. Why would you do that to yourself? Boy, you are thick. 
I did it for you, so I'd be like you, so we could be together. But then the Kingpin ordered me to kill you, or die myself. I couldn't. I can't. Felicia, I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face. Just your lips. I, I can get you help. Uh, witness protection. A new life, safe from the Kingpin. And... Maybe... Maybe someday we can get to know each other like normal people. I don't want to be normal people. Run away with me. We'll go somewhere exotic. With our power, we can live like royalty. Adventure, excitement, romance. I... And that sounds terrible to you. No, but I've got... responsibilities. Well, I'm not one of them. Don't worry about me. I've always done fine with a target on my back. I can't just let you go. Fisk owns too many cops. If I'm in custody, I'm as good as dead. You can't do that to me any more than I can do it to you. You ever decide you want some fun in your life? <laughs> Look me up. Felicia, <laughs> wait! Craven! Time for a little mentor-mentee chat. You know, discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. It looks... It's all for me. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. You're a fake! A coward! This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. The antidote I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me. For the Kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you would eliminate the Kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now... We will see who is the hunter, and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful, for a time. He saw the fear and distrust, but he is little more than a beast. In the trees, before he springs a trap. You've been a poor sport. You wanted me to watch Cassidy kill that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test. To see how strong you could be. You could stomach this spilling of blood. I admit, you disappointed me. Always one step behind. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. Way. Come get me, boy. I get as angry as you do. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. Are you deliberately moving really slowly? Is this like some grass shadows? 
to spot him in those trees, but I have to try. I can smell your fear. One dies. I beg you, kill me. Give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven. But you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the Kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. The information I have given you will get you inside the building. But you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. What? No elevator music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> Smells like sweaty fat guys and burritos in here. No offense to burritos. Well, if it isn't the Kingpin! Catchy name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. Or maybe a beach ball? I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. The whole city knows you're crooked, and everyone still kisses your tukas. Which must take what, like a week? A lot of ground to cover is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. A violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine. Play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you threaten me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. You set Cletus Cassidy loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare people. To make things so bad, when you took over, it looked like you fixed it. And who else is gonna fix things, huh? You, running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent power fantasy. I live in the real world. So bad, your high school yearbook photo was taken from a helicopter. No? You're so fat I could have you arrested for 10 pounds of crap. I would come down here immediately. I made a fight in myself. People don't expect a crime-free utopia. They want a world that makes sense. Where if you stay out of bad neighborhoods, you don't get hurt. They want order! You're wrong. People want justice. They want to know that if they work hard and play by the rules, the same rules everyone else has to follow, they'll be okay. <laughs> what an amusing world you live in. Let's see how you do it. Okay, this wasn't a 
fair fight. But hey, you started it. You're a fool to challenge me. This must be frustrating for you. Not awesome for me. I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. No more fancy stuff. You're so bad. You go camping? What do I pay you for? Get down here! I'm gonna watch you. Watch. It's men like me to make the hard choices. To make the wheels of the world turn so they can work their pathetic jobs and live their small lives and get a cookie at the end of the day. Knowing that someone strong is in charge. Hey man, I get it. You were a bullied fat kid, and now you want to get even. You want to start a software company? Be my guest. But when you start hurting people, when you turn into the bully yourself, I'm gonna shut you down. How dare you? You know nothing. Nothing about my life. You have no idea what I've done to survive. So talk to me. Let's hear it. You hired Craven. You're so proud of it. Tell me what you did. You're so fat. You're the same height lying down. Raincoat people yell, Taxi! I get left out when I use the seismic blast. You are so fat. When you cut yourself shaving, marshmallow fluff comes out. <laughs> I'm not a fool, Spider-Man. I've admitted no wrongdoing, broken no laws. There is no evidence against me. I have proof you paid Craven. No, my task force did. As a security consultant. I am shocked and horrified to hear he's done anything improper. If indeed he has. He was hired for his legendary skills and, and a strong code of conduct that would never allow him to betray a client. Craven might not give you up, but Cassidy will. <laughs> a lunatic like that? Oh, come now. His word can hardly be believed. And besides, a man would have to be a, a fool to deal with someone of his ilk directly. I assure you, I am no fool. I'm afraid, Spider-Man, that you are the only criminal here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. This is not an action film, boy. Just because you're young does not mean you can hack my security and gain access to my personal... How are you doing that? Huh. Now who's underestimated who? Stop that! I demand you stop... All units. Max Dillon has escaped custody and is at large in Sector 4. What did you do? I have no idea what you mean. Thank you for showing me my areas of vulnerability. I assure you, they will be gone when you return. <laughs>
I warned you to stay away. Now it's too late. I recognize that guy. What happened to him? Something familiar about you, Max Dillon? You don't even remember. You said I was your eyes and ears. <laughs> said we were partners. I remember now. I did say that, and I meant it. Liar! You abandoned me! Left me in that place. Let them hurt me. All alone in the dark. Max, I don't know what happened to you. I can see you're in pain, but I can't help you unless you let me. You don't care. There's bad people everywhere, Max. I'm sorry for what they did to you. But that doesn't give you an excuse to be one of them. <laughs> Stop hurting me! Listen, I know we're fighting, but could you recharge my... Electricity? You're pretty dim. Not again! You won't betray me again! to you it's affected your mind but there are people who can help places you can go no that's what down together. Listen, I know we're fighting, but could you recharge my phone? feel sorry for the guy. He was a victim. And if what he said about Ravencroft is true, I've got to shut that place down. Oscorp's one of their big donors. Maybe Harry can help. <laughs> 